Yeah, we drink and play games. This is Barcadium. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, there you a go. body has been discovered. Welcome back to a very serious episode of Arcade Spirits. I still have to do this voice because that's what I committed the narrator to, but let me promise you that this is a very serious moment we're having right now. Mm -hmm. Quickly, we pile into Queen Bee's rusty yellow hatchback and speed off to the local hospital. All right, in her car. I said this was a serious episode. Oh, Listen. Oh, look, it's the hospital. I just came from one. You should probably be in one. <laughs> The hour is growing late, but we managed to find his, his, his room just before visiting hours are over, and inside, lying in a hospital bed. That's not lying. <laughs> no, it's not. He's got a big old grin on his but face. But at least he's not playing, like, you know how normally they Yeah, he's got, on. like, his shirt's like, uh. He's just like, oh, hello there. Wasn't expecting visitors. <laughs> oh, hello there. Wasn't expecting visitors. How do you do? Is the, eve is the vet going well? Bruh, how are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm creepy right now. I feel that frustration. Hmm. How do you do? Seriously? How do you do, Percy? <laughs> exactly. What's going on? Are you okay? Oh, Tosh, it's nothing. Just a heart tremor. Wasn't even a full rest of anything. They're, they're keeping me overnight for observation. I'll be back at the funplex before you know it. No! <laughs> <laughs> Still have a high score to feed, after all. Your health. Are you kidding me? I mean, I'm not quite as, you know, angry as Queen Bee is, but I feel this. Pear Pear, come on! You're hooked up to an ECG. I can see your heart beats. It's not nothing. The heart condition that your sister died of. It runs All in right, the family. Wacky. Let's just put that out there that might have been private. Yeah. It runs in <laughs> your family, doesn't it? <laughs> A little pr prediction going on. Yes. Rather unfortunate. Rather unfortunate. I didn't want to bother you with that trivi a little trivial detail. But yes, I've got the same condition. A late bloomer, it seems, compared to my sister. How serious is this condition? That, I'm in a that, hospital. That killed your sister. <laughs> <laughs> is it very serious? Let's be honest with us, Percy. No holding back to keep us from worrying. Because we're gonna worry whether you like it or not. Yeah, what the kid said. Well, uh, well, Queen Bee. Uh, well, they said two years left to live, but science isn't an exact science, I suppose. No, but still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm doing there. Good line, Reed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's a nice little chime. No, that's not where my brain went. Where'd your brain go? Ding, 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 ding. Oh, there you A go. body has been discovered. <laughs> just like, in, and Percy just falls flat on his bed. He's like, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I, I could make another reference right now, but I won't. Nurse Rando, your attention, please. Your attention, please. Visiting hours are now over. Visiting hours are now over. If you don't leave now, my crusty ass will kick you out. I suppose it's time for you two to head on home. And don't you worry about me. I'll be out of here in, in, in the morning. Probably take a break from Moot before time, but I'll pop by the Funplex all the same. Only if you're sure, Percy. We, we could sleep in the closet. Stay around, make sure you're good. Y you done? You know me, love. I'm an, I'm an optimization expert, and my way of keeping calm through the silliness is to optimize the happiness I can find in the time remaining to me. And that means... The Funplex. The Funplex. Well, that's all very sad. Queen Bee offers me a ride back to the Funplex in her car. I've still got an event to wrap up and then a bus to catch back to my apartment. Or, Apparently Queen Bee isn't going to drop me off home. Yeah, I was like, or she could drop us off at home, or, hey, does Ashley own a car? She wanna come drop us off at home? No, Ashley would take you to her home, you idiot. <laughs> Neither of us really feel like taking uh, talking on the way there. <laughs> okay, that all done? Great. <laughs> I'm back. No, it's I'm back! And I'm better than ever! I Eric Oh right, no, you weren't around a wrestling with Eric Bischoff. 
What, in like WWE? Yeah. No, I never saw that. <laughs> yeah. Not, not WCW yeah, Eric that's, Bischoff. Yeah, that's the only one I know. Yeah. <laughs> None of it is much to come back to. All the plastic trophies I picked out for the high school contest are gone, along with the winners. Oh. Looks like everybody's closing up shop. Ashley tidying up a bit. Naomi literally having fallen asleep at the prize desk. And Francine up way past her bedtime with her knitting needles and her... Whatever. Dumb bracelet. I don't know. Why you went with bracelet? I went with her coat. I didn't know what oh. to call that. It's going to get a computer printout. Hello, dearie. Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, there you are, Wecky. Gavin ran the numbers while you were out. I haven't seen sales like this since. Actually, I've never seen sales like this. <laughs> Despite the discount on tokens, we made a tidy profit today. Far above and beyond what the Fumplex normally draws. <laughs> For what Ashley tells me, you two are getting along quite well. Mm. The mood was quite jovial near the end, with many nice folks saying they planned to return. Yeah! And even if the local champ didn't win at Fist of Discomfort, they got to see the demon in action. That's a fist of fun in the my cap. I mean, a feather in our cap. <laughs> I'd hope you'd be pleased with the news. This is what you wanted, yes? To put the funplex on the map? Business is going to be peachy now, especially with more lovely parties like this one. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm happy about it, just... Exhausted? Emotionally, mentally, and physically. Ah, I don't have time for that shit. <laughs> well, for what it's worth, we're all rather exhausted, dearie. But we've got no regrets. I'm 80 years old. <laughs> I'd like to think I know a thing or two about dreams. Dreams and how difficult they can be to make a reality. I was old enough to listen to a man tell me about a dream. Your dream of a thriving funplex is going to take hard work from each and every one of us. But we're ready, willing, and able. And now we're ready to start. Like the song? Yes. The, uh... I forgot their name. I forgot their name. Arcade Fire. But true, That's it. we <laughs> didn't win. And true, Percy was, um, hospitalized, but... Details. Nah, oh whatever, that happens. But we did it. Your friends saw it through. And they do it all over again. Without... I doubt. They do it, they do it, and do it, and do it, and do it, like a Black Eyed Peas song. <laughs> I was like, I hope you explain what the reference is. I, I, not, <laughs> I not a bit numb to it all. I'm sure I'll feel like a million bucks tomorrow when Percy strolls back in and smiles, and Queen Bee sporting her fancy new team jacket. Yeah. When the daytime crowds are thick with new cut. The newcomers happy to be playing the games they love when I really get to see the effects of what we've accomplished. But for now, I really just want to go to bed. You need anything else for me tonight? No, Derry, just keep bringing customers back in. Thank you. We're all wrapped up like a bow. I know, because I used to do that all the time as a kid. My mother taught me golden, golden, and bow. <laughs> And boom. <laughs> I don't know how to fold a present at all. I'm on my way home for a good night's sleep myself. Go home, Wecky. We'll see you tomorrow. Ashley, take us home. Oh. I turned the keys in the lock, slumping into the apartment. Hi. Oh, God. I don't have the, like, I'm feeling the tiredness of Wecky, and I'm just like, Juniper, no, that's too high energy. <laughs> too bad. Uh, what boys today? It's the the asshole fairy from. Oh. <laughs> Lucky, hi. I like how he called him an asshole. I mean, he kind of is. A little bit. <laughs> I need to go higher than that, but I don't want to. You don't have to. So, how'd it go? Was Vista Fun every bit as awesome as the awesome poster I designed for it? Why weren't you there? Yeah, why? Why were you just, spending money? I think that's a very valid question. Yeah, you should have been supporting us. The players went home happy, and business is booming. Hooray! Why don't you look happy? Because I died inside. 
Well, one guy went to the hospital. And then <laughs> one guy literally the almost died. Yeah. On the inside, I just feel dead. It's been a long day. Understatement. Well, okay. Honestly, Wacky, you're an inspiration to me. You have the guts to chase your dreams. It's tough work, but I knew that Iris could find you something you'd love. Your socks are an inspiration to me. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> And I've been wondering if I should follow in your footsteps. What? What? You want to become an arcade czar? No, silly. I mean, just try to find something to do with my life other than make coffee for executives and file their paperwork. I got it. Like that poster. I could try to be a graphic designer, maybe. I've always loved doing stuff like that. You ain't making a goddamn dime off of it. I, that, that was a little sourness in me coming out. I did graphic design all throughout college, and I specifically remember one job where I was supposed to work for a theater company to pro, like to make their production poster for a festival. I did multiple jobs for these theater, like these theater organizations that wanted their jobs done. I gave them the price to pay. I did it for seven of them. Seven of them chose me. All seven of them used them. Only two of them paid me. Oh. And I went down the throat of one of them. Pay your artist, man. And they still didn't. And I was just like, I wish legally I could do something about this. I didn't. I just didn't want to go through the lawyer fees and everything. But I was. Yeah, because like, it, it costs so much to, to get the lawyer. They were like, you're getting stuff. exposure, and I was like, fuck you. Guys, don't ever say exposure. Fuck it's bullshit. you. It is. Pay yes. your artist. I mean, listen, we still haven't gotten the our uh, Barcadium uh, new intro up yet. Yeah. But you know the guy who at least did the song for it or did the music for it? He's paid. Mm -hmm. He's good. We've taken care of that. Pay the rest your of, artist. The rest of it's on us. Pay your fucking artist. What do you think? Except that following your dreams can ruin, run you ragged like it did to me today. If you nearly torpedo your future, it could even kill you. Is it worth it? Yes. Yes, it is. Is it worth it? Let me search it. I put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. I tried so I hard to one. not do it, and I, I was know just, that one. Is it really worth all the trouble? I got that reference. I was just like, I, I didn't know what to do. I was just like, do I, do I, do I? All right, fine, I'm doing it. I, I already, I had started That's laughing. A good song. I like that song. Mm -hmm. Follow your dreams, Juniper. Be independent. Maybe you could find a graphic design firm. You're already doing fine, stick with it. You know what, let's tell her to be independent and follow her dreams. Follow your fucking dreams with your black streak in your hair. You already did. You're like a cat with your bun. Yeah, you gotta do stuff with that hair every day. That's not hair You might as well be a graphic, yeah, be independent. Francine's right. I chose this path. I chose to make my life difficult in order to make my life into something. Juniper's helped me out along the way and I should help her in return. I'm not going to lie. It wouldn't be easy. Not by a long shot. But yeah, I think you should chase your dreams. Become an artist on your own terms. Now get out of my apartment! Thank you! I knew I had the right idea. Thanks, Wecky. You need to go to bed and sleep. Tomorrow, I'll make you pancakes, a reward for my hard-working arcade czar. You used to have pancakes every morning during those summer trips, right? Your mom made them. Love pancakes. That was ages ago, Juniper. One of my folks could afford trips to the shore and pancake mix. <laughs> and Juniper gets a wry smile. It better be Aunt Jemima. <laughs> I think I know exactly how we can celebrate your newfound success. How about... No. Uh-oh. Uh I don't know. A beach vacation. Oh, I thought this was going to result in something else. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> <gasps> Read your line. <laughs> what are you doing? You're just gonna, uh, and I'm like, but but that's you. I'm sorry, I'm not excited there. <laughs> You've cleared level four of arcade spirits. Ow. A winner is you. Now let's see your score. Bruh. Looks like you and Ashley are having some good times. Queen Bee's also got a nearly erect boner too. Mm -hmm. We we do not give a shit about Teo at all. No, no Te just Teo, Teo's just good good boy. Keep, keep it down there. 
You're proving to be a gentle, sweet, and compassionate soul. Lame. But we have, like, pretty, like, we're okay, like, in our stats compared to our people stats. Listen. Let the hate flow through you. <laughs> Please. <laughs> also, you've scored 14,750 points. Woohoo! What does it mean? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Today's pizza fact is the world's largest pizza covered 10,000 square feet and measured 100 feet across. It weighed in at 44,457 pounds. You could feed the fucking world with that. That's ridiculous. That yeah. is... Mm -mm. I yeah. don't like that. I want to... That's a pizza too large. There are germs all over it. There's a... Well, I mean, there's going to be germs on pizza no matter what. Bacteria just exists. Yes. But, like, that's... I, I get what you mean, yes. Um, I want so badly to take on... There's a restaurant that does a 24-inch pizza challenge where you have to put two meats and two veggies on the pizza. Mm -hmm. If you can eat it within an hour, oh. it's free. This is a singular challenge, one person, one yeah, pizza? Yeah, one person, one person, one pizza. For in an hour? Mm-hmm. Mm. Now, I'm basing this on me and my experience as a Chee Burger Chee Burger. I don't know what that is. That is a New Jersey place? It is a New Jersey thing. Chee Burger, well, I, I think there's they have more locations, but Chee Burger Chee Burger specifically have locations in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Um, in which I've eaten two and a half pounds of hamburger. Oh. The challenge is one pound. Mm. I ate two and a half pounds, oh. and I topped it with a lot of things too. So I'm thinking if I can do that, maybe I can do this. I want to try it one day. Maybe I'll film, maybe I'll film it when I do it. Maybe I'll try it if it's winter time. Do you think you can get through 24 inches of pizza? Winter, maybe. Okay. Not during the summer. All right. But. Maybe we'll do it during the winter. We'll both yeah. get our own 24-inch pizzas, and everybody will just laugh at how la like how but, far yeah. we don't get. <laughs> do you want to save your game before proceeding to level two five? Yes. No, but I want to end this fucking episode right <laughs> now. I decided it. It's done because it wouldn't make sense to just show the pieces of chapter five before we actually get. Yeah, that. That, it's a good stop. So next time on Barcadium, me and Ash eat a two-pound pizza. No, it's spring. Guess you're not getting arcade spirits until the winter. Bye! Bye. <laughs>